being put upon us. <laughs> Be fortunate that he is not here today for us. Salvation. Only one. <laughs> Only one still tears up the bracket. Okay, till day. Moving into a matchup that has been happening it, way more than I've seen it happen before. Is he still connected? No, but my colors. One moment, please. Oh, get rocked. Get I prepared rocked. for this. Oh, do you have other rectangles prepared? I just realized Frozen is looking weird. Entilde is looking weird. Oh, no. Oh, gross. Wait, what's going on? The, the red and the blue, but not the red and not the blue. Oh, okay. They're on Devin currently players. being shambled. Devin mixing it up. He's got it on my... Okay. Yo, Tilde's cooking. Nice. But much less shambling. What's good with Tilde right now? Tilde is moving. He doesn't care that Kalos is a big stage. He's still going to move around. He's still going to shoot the gun. He's still going to kick the leg. When did this guy become OD? You tell me. I honestly have no idea. This is why I'm very surprised. Like, Tilde has been good for a while. I feel like uh, I remember the name but hadn't seen... Like, he was a Smash 4 Fox, and he would do pretty good at Xeno. But it was definitely on and off with the tendons. As of late, I've been seeing him in a lot of top 8s. For yeah. Time. So, like, I'm not too surprised of his appearance in tonight's top 8, but, like... Oh, that's so sad. Psych is very happy. Wow! Bird with wall. Much better than bird without wall. I hard agree. Saving his life quite literally. Oh, shot in the face. Straight bullet. Okay, what a parry punish! That was so good on Frozen! What a big difference maker! That turns around so much! Like, Tilde definitely had control of this game. By far. And then, Frozen was like, nah. But Tilde was like, aha! Alright! Tilde with a, a call out that is like levels deep. The missed, intentional missed teleport cancel call out is like... That's something you play against someone who teleports cancels all the time. You make that call out. Tilly's clearly done his homework on who yeah. he's got to fight. Whether or not he's paying attention to today's bracket or if he has just watched previous matches, like, he knows what to look out for. And considering the level of play from the Palu Tennis in bracket, like, that's a lot to prepare for in a pretty weird matchup. I don't know how weird. Palu, another hard read on the S smash. This one not as quite as high as a percent, but the Nair after could be setting up something dirty. Oh, really good riding the wall there. He's moving on this Kalos platform ridiculously well. Way better than the Kalos platform deserves to make anyone move. Okay, super low. He's done that to Fox a million times. I guess Falco no different, but he does make his way back with that an interesting a recovery. Great angle. And it mashes mission. out. Okay. Fires back. That really saved him, but not for long enough as Frozen still takes the second stock. However, it does keep the percentages close in to the point where Tilde can once again tie up these stocks without losing too much ground. Yeah, if he takes this in this advantage state, nothing on the Nair right there, and Jeff's definitely not going to be enough to finish him off. Okay, that fair could be it. Definitely is, and we are even going into this last stock of game one. Again and again we've seen it. Although, we've seen it at Frozen's pace, which is worth noting, because, like, you go back and forth all you want, but someone's going to have to lose all their stocks first. Yeah, I feel like Frozen gets his, this nice snare that we've been waiting for to really start making those numbers turn colors, like Tilde's doing right now. Things get different, but Frozen cannot find that opening. This is why I like Tilde's Falco, because, like, this kind of patient play, like, we really don't see from a lot of Falcos and Ultimate. The characters are already rare, but a lot of them are much more combo-oriented. Yeah, they really want to find the up tilt. Um, Tilde is way more focused on letting you mess up and having a bad approach, and then using his punish game to full effect. Instead of just trying to force, feel like, I need this up tilt. I'm going to do everything. My entire game plan is around me hitting you with up tilt instead of me just hitting you in general. I, I feel, feel like it's a, it's a game plan that applies itself really well to like the spacey archetype. Like the same game plan could be said for Fox and parts of it can also be said for Wolf where it's just like turn the reversal, make like do more damage than you have to take to get into that situation. Okay, not gonna get the two frame. Frozen must have been watching. He saw what was up. Okay, does he have a jump? Oh, he doesn't get it. Does find his way back though. Still alive. And this is 
Precious. Still Dave wants the kill. He's getting a little... He's got to. I don't know. You got him at 150. I think you can kind of chill and find a good option to kill with. No double jump. Still makes it back with relative ease. Okay, the backer gets punished on the shield with the up smash. I did not know that. Tilde taking game one. This up smash proven to be a lot like better of an option than I thought it was. Yeah, um, I don't know what frame it is, but it seems decently fast, especially in the front. Palu's bear definitely isn't safe on block, but you usually can't punish it right. that strongly. Okay, we're running the same matchup. I doubt it changes all set. Frozen. Um, yeah. I don't see any reason for Frozen to swap off Palu, and I don't really think so they should switch to Fox. No. Frozen gets his, his battlefield stage. That's definitely his home. That's where he likes to be. He moves so well across the stage. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like Mind you, I feel like moves. Falco can do much the same, but we've, what we've seen out of Tilde's movement has been a lot more on the laterally oriented stages. So, like, Kalos or Smashville in town. Like, he's moving really well along those. We haven't seen too much vertical movement from him, and I think that's where Frozen himself can excel well, but also Palu can just make good use of the platforms. I think Palu's best use of the platform is definitely teleported, or at least... Look at that, just not even using the platform to teleport cancel on, but when you see that, the first thing you think of is the teleport cancel, so you just kind of get to land for free, right on the ground. No jump. It's not going to find anything. I think Frozen is, like, getting him in such a good spot off stage and just not pushing and just kind of sticking out flame and hoping for the best. Yeah, considering how mobile Tilde has been, even in disadvantage, I feel like you can't let Explosive Flame try to do the work for you. And I have confidence in Frozen off stage. Like, I feel like he can make good decisions to actually, like, ghost Tilde and try to call out any of his options. We've seen a lot of... Uh, wall jumps and Falco phantasms to mix up his recoveries. And I feel like Palutena has the kit to be able to punish that. Yeah, I think offstage has been pretty easy for Tilde. Um, Frozen is waiting till like 150 to start doing his like easy edge guards instead of... Like, you just start doing them now. Just get the runoff there. It's pretty easy to get on Falco. The space use recoveries are always very linear. I don't know. Like, traditionally speaking, that's been their fault. Like, they can combo well, they can kill well, but you know where they're going to move. Okay, there you and go. there's a good call-out option. Really like hard call-out. I like it. Frozen had really good hard call-outs game one, too, though. So nothing really changed there. True, true. And he's behind as far as percentage is concerned. Probably can rack this up still. Yeah. Starting right now. Platform break going to help him out. Oh, I think he, if he had the close explosive flame, that would have hit. It might have probably been missing foot. In the war against Palutena, Tilda's been very aware of, like, where to place himself during these combos. Like, he's been putting himself towards the inside against Palutena. Such Ooh. a why. Yo, he just did it. He's like, I'm going to down here. I Yo, feel what like if doing I just... <laughs> what I was going to say was how his positioning is giving him these little opportunities for big reversals, which we just saw there. Uh, yeah, kind of, I guess. I feel like he's just spending so much more time, like, in center stage, not in the corner, that it makes it way easier for him to find a lot of his bread and butter situations where he gets his up tilts and he gets these little chip damage lasers we see a lot. Right. Okay, he does it again. That Phantasm is getting slapped, I can tell you that. Now Frozen was kind of in this spot game one. <laughs> Just a little step on. A little, little, little jump. Let's see. Until they can still find the clutch. Probably needs a little bit more damage for the up smash to kill. Or just convert with landing there. Okay, bud. You got it. That was scary. That was really good from Tilde. So now, coming to game three. Looks like we're going to Smashville. Frozen, not a stranger to reverse three O's, but he's gonna have to get it started quick in this. Gonna have to turn. He's it gonna up do quick. it, Peach. My guy switched. All right, bet. Okay, we have not seen the Peach yet today. I'm pretty sure. Guess he's not quite feeling the Palu. 
I feel like if there's anyone to switch on, it would be Tilde. Just because he, he looks so comfortable playing against Palutena right now. That even with the slight changes in play style, like, it's just not enough. That's right. Also, Frozen's punish game on Spacey's with, look at that. Okay, he's playing Falco now. That looks like more of the traditional Falco that we see from Kofi right there. Just use up till four times in neutral. Hope for the best. One of them's got a hit. Okay, Peach started off kind of nice. This is how Kofi's been starting off pretty much every game. <coughs> okay. Ooh, good read with the Peach Bomber. Duh! Okay, he gets the roll out. If he neutral get up there, I don't even think he would have died to the down smash because that move is not the strongest. It'd be kind of weak. Okay, sus the eye, I'm pretty sure. It's the lead that Frozen needs, though, against Tilde. He gets like... reverse hit down tilt, but he's not ready for the follow up, and he doesn't get anywhere as big as a punish as I think he could have gotten. Yeah, that's such a weird start to the combo. Yeah, if you did get the reverse hit, getting down tilt at zero is not a fun time. Especially as a spacey. You do not want to get down tilt. Yeah, no. On average, that should be an easy 60 damage. Oh, no. What an amazing call out once again from the double jump from ledge, Tilde. That's. The last two games is carrying him. Sometimes you just need the dunk button. Like, getting them, especially a character like Peach with such an exploitable, like, game plan. Like, you know she's going to be jumping a lot because she wants to get her float stuff going. Like, catch her too low without a jump. Arsol's not oh, bringing her anywhere. Ooh, okay. And now Tilde with this amazing string coming out on Frozen. Quickly slaps him away, though. And then that. Could Peach really not nair out of shields on top of side beat? That is quite surprising. I've never really thought about the interaction before. Falco side B is like surprisingly safe. It's it's pretty weird. Yeah, okay. I remember when like everyone started talking about how like Fox Illusion and all of those don't go through shield. They're like that character's ruined, and then it, it they're all Italian them. grandmas. Yes. Everyone complaining about they burnt the sauce. Oh <laughs> no. Okay, the re on the ledge, not even gonna make it back, no worries. Frozen, up a stock this game three. Is the Peach the key to success? Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna be able to get something with that there. Tilde has gone the wrong direction off of pretty much every one of Frozen's like juicy hits he's got in this game. Got reverse down tilts and all that crazy stuff. Man just has alien BI, like. That's it. You're gone. You are gone. You jumped. You do not jump. You go low. Peach does Yikes. not like jumps. Alright, so Frozen with a breath of life back in the game. But he's still gotta work through this reverse scenario if he's trying to stay alive. Yeah, Falco is a character that can burst you down insanely quickly. Before you know it, you're taking lose your first stock and then you take 80, and it kinda gets hard after that. But uh I don't know. With the fresh character, I think the reverse 3-0 is, is way more likely. I didn't think the Palo can do it, but I, I have confidence in the Peach. Yeah, I feel like Peach doesn't struggle too badly against uh, the Spaceys, Falco in particular. Yeah, because they explode. It, like, neutral almost, I wouldn't say it doesn't matter, but like, when you landing there, a Spacey at zero and they take 80, it's like, yeah, it's gonna be like that. Frozen not finding that kind of explosive combo today, but still a respectable 50 racked up on both players here. Okay, Ooh. I see you, Tilde. That was cute. Killer combos in ultimate. Ooh. You got it. Look at that shield pressure from that, too. All right, a very active game four ahead of us. Okay, Tilde coming off with another one of his explosive starts. Okay, finish up this stock, though, before Peach does anything dirty to him. Just not able to get in and make it count in a wayward roll. Yes, shot. Should be able to float back kind of gently. Drag down there. Oh, no. he did it. He was about to hit short from that actually working. Okay, now we see Peach is entering float cancel aerial zone. Oh, he doesn't get up to punish it in time, but oh my god, the offstage interactions are going back and forth, and they're all insane, and Frozen comes out on top. Like, the action the has not the stopped. Since they were just going back and forth for like 30 seconds straight. Okay, let's see. 
Peach. Okay, yes. not able to finish that off. You gotta be really scared of Peach with Rage. This down tilt can be scary. Anything? Okay, this could be. 39 damage. All right, yeah. Wow, wow. we love that. I'm actually really surprised. That was just good DI for first. And he was higher up, too, because of the pla- He's going low. Okay, he gets the snap. Wow, that- no. I don't know how that missed. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to see that drag down dare from Frozen again. Yeah, I've, I've experienced that. That definitely happens. Okay, Kyle's platform not doing a- Till they dirty there. He's able to escape. But uh, this is scary, especially if you lose this stock right here. Or Frozen loses his. Okay. We're, we're there now, but one hard read from Peach. She ends stocks. Peach is a destroyer. Like, Peach does such a good job of just mauling characters and the interactions that she wins. Yeah, she doesn't need a lot of them. Peach. Peach is quick, ruthless, and efficient, which is strange words to describe a princess, but it's definitely how she plays. Until he wants no part of dying, so he traps himself in the corner. Very smart. <laughs> Frozen, you madman. What are you doing? Okay, he clips him right there. Back air, not enough. Oh, loops him. One more. One more for the road. What a good tech. He's going to be living right now, but he does eat a little bit of percent. We're approaching pretty much every flow cancel aerial is death incarnate as How well as that smash. Well, that bird was cooked. Okay, and now we see Frozen with such a scary lead. He's got the item in hand. Are we going to see? Okay, we hit, so he's able to stay living. You know, one thing I want to bring up about Frozen's Peach real quick, and I feel like this just sort of fits him as a player. A okay, couple of wow. times he lives. when he's got in control of the, uh, the offstage play, we've seen him throw the item behind him. And I don't think those were missed inputs. He's they are not. He's using like, the drift from the item throw animation. He's position. turning himself around. He's trying to get back here. So instead of facing forward and getting fair, you turn yourself away around with the item throw, and then you can back here. It's super smart. Yeah, it is. Because you'd much rather. The back air is such a quicker option compared to fair. Yeah. From Peach. This fair is not killing at the ledge. He's in about four of them in a row. Frozen making it back once again. Can he get out of the corner now? This is a really big turning point of the game. He doesn't get out. Does he get anything else off of this, though? This is um, really nerve-wracking the fair at the ledge. Finally going to take one, and we are pretty much dead even. Game four, match point for Tilde. All right, few hits connecting here and there. Bringing to the ledge, I think, is the more important part of this. Uh-oh, but that down tilt could be the... Okay, I oh. kind of respect it. It might have been a misinput. Can't be sure, but that was a lot of damage missed, I think. I think we could be having red numbers on Falco right now. If things go a little bit differently on that combo. Okay, and I think a big difference from... The last games, this one is Tilde is avoiding a lot of the stronger hits, is what I would say. Is what I would say Damn. to the nth millionth degree, <laughs> bro. He got slapped. <laughs> Game five, baby. Another one. Line him up. Just line him up. Yo, the reverse 3 0 is actually happening right now. The Peach is doing too much damage. Falco's like, this is my string. Peach is like, yeah, that's what you do? Bet. That's what you do? <laughs> Quick age. It's actually crazy how well Frozen's been able to turn around this match. Yeah, the Peach, you know what? He's always, he's definitely been confused on where to use Peach and Palu, so. And when you're not sure where your secondaries play, it can be upsetting when you counter pick and then you still lose because you're like, you get unsure of yourself. But this would be an amazing, I think, confidence booster for his Peach. His Peach is broken. He should be playing Peach, right? The character's just so good. Mind you, Palo is also Look good. at this. Tilde is laser camping with Falco. I never thought I'd see the day. Bro, this is what I'm telling you. No one does it. I think, I think it's because no one wants to do it. But, like, it's so good. Everyone else is a decent human being, so it doesn't <laughs> happen. Uh-oh. Cold off stage here. Goes for the hard read on the up smash. You know what? I can't really blame him. He eats a fair for his troubles, but... Avoids pretty much anything really bad. And we're right back in the mix. Yo, Peach Bummer on shield is actually hella scary. It's dumb. Because, like, you know realistically she's not getting that much off of landing it. Like, yeah, you're probably going to get set in the offstage play, which isn't going to be fun, especially against Frozen's Peach. But, like, she's able to do so much off of hitting the shield. Oh, no. Okay, Frozen, first stock, the reverse 3-0, beginning to materialize for real. See the light at the end of the tunnel. Tilde wants to extinguish it, though, going for that down air. Yo, Frozen Z-Drop, that turn-up, or was in position to throw it right, that actually could be terrifying. 
Okay, so he's back onto the stage with the bomber. He's gonna be staying alive. This, these fairs are not rolling in Kofi's favor. They seem to never be killing when you wish they would. Same with that down tilt. You gotta feel bad for him. It's such a difference maker. Totally not sure how to approach the situation at hands. Oh no, he gets the spike. That'll do it. Yeah, that is how you take a stock. <laughs> Frozen was right there. If he landed that Nair, that is the difference between stocks on either of these characters. That pretty much kept Tilde in the game, hitting that side B. Not only put him in the game, but put him in the lead. He's just got to hold on to it, though. We've seen like how fast the percentages are climbing in these bouts. Like, yeah, already at 96. He's been on this stock for about 20 seconds, Frozen. 110. Tilda's not done yet. Is that going to be it? It is! Oh my wow. god! That was such an efficient stock. But Frozen looking to strike right back. Doesn't find it. Scary nonetheless. I like that he held his float. See if he can maintain the situation as long as possible. The rising reflectors have been so good from Tilde. I feel like he's only been doing them here in game 5. But every time he's done it, it's matter. He's finding the up tilts now too. He's just taking so much damage. Frozen not in a very favorable position now. Till they, the momentum shift has been crazy, honestly. Yeah, this has actually been a wild set. And back throw here is not going to kill, but should set up for the play. Okay, he gets the fair. And you know what? Peach does 86 off of one weak hit aerial. Yeah, if Tilde doesn't end the I don't know if she has 107. Now, that was the scariest oh, float there's that landing did. fair hitbox we were talking about earlier. Helping him out right there. Stuck at the ledge, the Peach Bomber. Uh-oh. Where's the shield? So tiny. How did that fair not hit? <laughs> the beak was like in her mouth. That is crazy. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, you know what Tilde wants. He's showing us right there. We are in back air city right now. Population. Yeah, that's peaches. all he needs. That's literally all he needs. That's all he's using. He's only using back air. Frozen knows it too. Frozen is smart. Yo, the big mix up is if you grab, grab will be back air. Shot in the face. Not enough, but the up air. Rising to the oh, top, the Tilde off. clutches out game five. We have a camera. What is this? On scene. Yeah. Let's go, Dill. <laughs> or, or Helper. Yeah, tell Helper to sit that back down. What is helper, this? the hands are shaky. It's Helper. Jake, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what? It's, it's Mar Marshall. What is Marshall? We got mixed.